Okay, everybody, I wanted you to take a look at a double clip that I'm going to post. And uh, I'm a no baloney kind of guy, and I'm going to tell you like it is or how I feel like it should be. Uh, we're going to look at 1975 versus 2024. Uh, the Republican stance on taxes versus the Democratic stance on taxes. Uh, I voted Republican and Democrat uh, many times. Uh, this time, I have to vote Republican. And I have to vote Republican because when I see how the Democrat Party has changed over the years and the lies and deceit and the tricks and the shenanigans that they pull behind the scenes, and particularly with this candidate that they have it there now, uh, they don't deserve to be running for president. Uh, the party sabotaged the whole election to get Biden out of it. Uh, the whole thing just stinks and it's not right. Now, if she wins, that's so be it. I move on and, and go away. However, if, if Trump wins, the Democrats will never be able to let it go. They will just live the next four years just trying to get him out of office, or do whatever they have to do to get rid of him. Uh, they've already tried to get rid of him twice. And that's their only option, unfortunately, to get rid of him. Uh, when I listen to Harris uh, try to explain her policies, they're not existent. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing there, there's no substance. Uh, the Build Back Better, baloney, the, uh, when I was a little girl, my mother, blah, blah, blah. No information, no stance, no policies. Uh, the border been an absolute disaster. And she's an absolute disaster. Now, Trump may not be a prize, but there's no way that you can't say that you were better, worse off. You can't say that you were worse off under Trump than you have been for the last four years. Uh, so I put my money where my mouth is, and that's why I'm voting Republican. But I want you to listen to this clip coming up. I'm talking way too much. Uh, it has to do about taxes. Here you go. Today, they're taking almost half of every dollar earned in the United States. And most people don't realize it because the taxes are hidden in the so-called business taxes. You know, the politician that stands up and yells, oh, let's save the little man, let's tax business, and everybody yells, hooray. And they haven't figured out that every tax on business is just a part of the cost of production. And the customer winds up paying it when he buys the product. It's a hidden sales tax. There's 116 of them in our the suit of clothes that each one of us is wearing. We're going to have to raise corporate taxes and we're going to have to raise, we're going to have to make sure that the biggest corporations and billionaires pay their fair share. That's just it. It's about paying their fair share. I am not mad at anyone for achieving success, but everyone should pay their fair share. So now you've had a chance to listen to that clip. And quite honestly, the only thing I can say about it is the more things change, the more things stay the same. That's a long period of time that went by there. You know, we're talking about, uh, geez, 50, 50 years or 49 years. And uh, it, it's a shame that things just keep going around and around and around like that. But anyway, that's my opinion. Good luck to either candidate in the upcoming election. And uh, hopefully a company, a company, a country comes out okay on the other side of this. Take care.